Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Zhengxu. Let's look at the problem 17 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about the source of magnetic field. So there we can see, tell us a campus leader pointing to 28 degree east of north outdoors. So this tell us the Earth's magnetic field is making an angle theta 28 degree with the north, right? So you can draw it, the vector look like this one. Then tell you, however, when it is placed 12 cm to the east of a vertical wire inside a building, it is pointing to the 55 degree east of north. So now in the second case, we need to consider the uh, addition about the Earth's magnetic field and the wire's magnetic field. Do you agree? Yes. So now the net magnetic field is this one, right? And then it makes an angle 55 degree east of north. So that means that theta plus phi is 55 degree. So you can solve it as a phi equal to 27 degree. And also tell you this is east to a vertical wire inside a building. So for vertical wire, we can see the magnetic field for this wire B pointing down, right? This angle is also theta, right? And then we can see in this triangle, theta plus phi plus beta equal to 180 degrees. So you can get beta as 125 degree, right? So now you can see in this triangle, the E, the, uh, no, the BE, the B Earth, the Earth's magnetic field is given, and then all the angle is given. What you need is the magnetic field for the wire, right? And then now you get the wire, it, it, you need to find the magnitude and the direction for the current in the wire. So this one, you can connect it with the B wire, right? As we say, the magnetic field for the wire mu naught times I times 2 pi R, right? And then we can solve it using the law of sine. So for law of sine, you can see the angle phi pointing to this one, right? So B wire, so we use the B wire divided by sine phi, and also BE, the earth, you can change another color. So BE and the, the beta, beta pointing to BE, right? So BE divided by sine beta. Now you can say you input the B wire inside the function can be right in this way and solve this e equation you get a function for current i and in then input all the given quantities you get the answer there thank you